Hey guys, welcome back for a quick hash video. I'm your host, Crypto Kick. Today we have an RTX 3090 Gaming X3 edition from NO3D. We're going to be running this card on Ethereum to check running temps, speed, power usage, power cost in my area, total revenue per day, per week, per month, to see if it even makes sense owning a card of this level. So, stick around. Looking in Tech Power Up GPU, this RTX 3090 has micron memory. Um, we're using the NVIDIA 468.9 DCH driver. Uh, we got it running on a 10 year old HP Pavilion desktop computer. Uh, all I really did was upgraded the power supply was 140 bucks wasn't that much I did replace the board from its original but it wasn't necessary for those of you trying to get into the space uh, you're gonna find real quick that prices on hardware are really high right now so I'd recommend probably going on Craigslist or something and finding yourself like a 10 year old computer kind of like this one all right let's head on over to Craigslist Really quick, just to show you guys. So here's one, 100 bucks, older computer. All you gotta make sure is it's got a 64 bit operating system and some PCIe lanes. Other than that, you should be good to go. See, 100 bucks, 100 bucks, uh, 160 bucks. So, not too bad. So, without further ado, let's get this thing running. So right out of the box, we're getting about 107.2 mega hash at uh, 370 watts at the wall. Uh, this is stock settings, nothing changed straight out of the box, just run it. So let's make some changes on this. Uh, let's drop the core down to about 95. And let's take the core clock all the way down to negative 502. And do 1200 on the memory. Take. Press enter first. I'm gonna set the fan speed at 79 or 75. Done. Okay. So right now we're running at 116 mega hash on Ethereum at 1200 on the memory. Um, we're doing 371 at the wall, total system power. So let's go ahead and change one little thing here. 
will bring it down to about 725 So a little bit of power um, should increase the hatch rate just a little bit. Let's see here. 119.2. Yeah, so 119.3 seems to be the number here at 357 watts. We're going to increase the memory just in there. Alright, let's have a little bit more here. And cool. About twelve fifty to my audience. Looks like we topped that at 122. You know, it's not bad. 365, 367 watts at the wall. So I kind of wanted to point something out. Uh, we do see a lot of power coming from the memory power, graphics memory power consumption. So. I mean, I guess it makes sense. It's got 12 one gigabyte chips on on the PCB. Uh, it's a lot of memory to power, so. So it's 197, 196 watts for the memory. You look at the GPU, it's 64 watts. Uh, so you could just, you know, that all the power is just coming straight from the memory. Heading over to NiceHash, you can see that the card is currently making around $20 to $21 a day. I do want to point out that these numbers are volatile and change minute to minute. So it could be higher, could be lower. It's just the way crypto is. Alright, so let's whip out the calculator and see how much this thing costs to run. Uh, 0.368 for 368 watts. Uh, times 24 hours times 0 0.075 cents per 1,000 watts is 66.24 cents per day so that's what it costs to run per day yeah we, we take it over to the calculator over here you say $20 a day minus the 66 cents day you got to pay an electric you're at $19.34 per day if you multiply that by seven you're looking at $135 a week and if you multiply that by four you're looking at $500 $541 a month and of course if we do that all the way up to a year you're looking at $6,498 and as you can see from Newegg, these cards go for about uh, $2,000, $1,800. So is it worth it? I don't know. That's going to be something that you're going to have to decide for yourself. I'm not a licensed financial advisor, and this is not financial advice. Please do your own research before taking any risks with your hard-earned money. And that's about it, folks. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you guys have any questions or comments, don't forget to leave them down below. On our next video, we're going to be working with the Sapphire Nitro Radeon RX 470 8GB. See you there.